Hey everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. So today I have a fun tutorial for you. We are transforming a Dollar Tree frame and we are gonna make it absolutely beautiful with alcoholics. Now you probably have all of these supplies at home but I've never thought to use them in this way. So I'm excited. Um, let's first of all dive in. So I have here my uh, Dollar Tree frame. I'm gonna explain to you in a second how I've already prepared it. But I also want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video because I went on their website recently. They have loads of courses um, and my New Year's resolution is to educate myself on all sorts of new things. And I found that they have crafty courses. So if you haven't tried those out already, check them out below because 2020 is my year to learn and discover new things and hopefully it's yours as well because um, they had a class all about like using color in different ways and working with bright colors and how color can transform your artwork and today's color palette is completely different to something I would normally use. You can see not my normal pinks and purples that you would expect from me. So it's kind of caused me to go a little bit outside my comfort zone um, but there's watercoloring and brush lettering and if you want to learn editing or you want to learn new career skills there's also sorts of things on there and the first 500 people to use the link in the description below will get a two month free trial at Skillshare and the annual membership works out to really good value too so check out my link below and thank you Skillshare for sponsoring the video and let me explore the platform because there's just so many amazing things on there. Greg found something, the girls, Maddie found some like coloring and mangary stuff and I found this color thing so that's why we're going to try out a new palette today. So in here, um, all I've done is taken the glass out my Dollar Tree frame and I've added um, some window cling that I cut on my Cricut and I mirrored it and you'll see why I mirrored it later. But mirroring is kind of an important step, but you could use any dies you have. You can use any spark cutter. You can use, you could use an X-Acto knife and do your own design, anything. But window cling works really, really well for this technique. Okay, so I've just stuck it on here. You can see it's a world map. And I've done this for Tilly because um, I travel quite a lot and her grandparents travel a lot and she likes to have a map in her room so that we can point out where people are. Like uh, grandma and granddad were recently in New Zealand, so we want to point that out to her. And when mummy's somewhere, she can go and find out where mum is. And I just think it's kind of a fun thing to have. And I like the idea that I've made it for her rather than one I've just got on Amazon. Okay, so window cling on Dollar Tree frame. And then what we're gonna do is just start adding alcohol ink. So I'm using the Ranger ones. And I'm just gonna kind of dab down some different colors. Now you can, do it in a few different ways. Um, I'm gonna start here just with a couple of base colors. So you can see I'm literally just kind of splashing it on. And now I'm gonna add just a little bit of blending solution before I add more colors. And you could add blending solution at first if you wanted to. And this is the new Ranger Air Blower for your alcohol inks. And you can just see it kind of moves them around like this. Now while my blending solution is still wet, I'm gonna add in some more colors. I think I might add a little bit of turquoise. And the great thing about this is there's no, I mean we did uh, like cathedral glass the other day, but this doesn't have any drying time. This is just gonna be instantly perfect and done by the time we're finished, which I like. I'm all about kind of the instant gratification crafting. I'm not great at, um, you know, waiting for my crafts to dry and those kinds of things. And so here you can see, like I'm using a totally different palette, but it's kind of appropriate when you're doing maybe like the globe or the earth or those kinds of things. Um, so I just wanna make sure that everywhere has some ink in it. I'm gonna go back with my yellow. And of course you can use any color combinations. Um, I would just say that you kind of want to um, make sure they're complementary colors, but you know, you could use um, things, but just if you're gonna use something that's not a complementary color, I would do it in layers, um, is my big tip. So I can do this. And of course you can do any design, you could do words. But you see how as I move it with the blower, I can do all sorts of fun things. You can also use an airbrush. Um, that kind of gives you a lot more pressure, but you can absolutely do that. Make sure, of course, you're doing it in a well-ventilated space and follow the safety instructions on any bottle. I mean, I know I do a lot of crafts here. We're in quite a big space, so it is well-ventilated, but just, you know, check those things, read the bottles. Um, you could also use alcohol pearls um, on this. You can, you know, there's just so many different things you can do. 
I'm just adding a bit more blue. And then we're just gonna wanna make sure that it's thoroughly dry. So I'm just gonna grab my heat gun. And I'm just gonna lightly go over it. And I wanna make sure my alcohol is pretty dry. Now the alcohol I got on my table will come off just fine. I just used some blending solution on a kitchen towel, glass cleaner, isopropyl alcohol, hand sanitizer, any of those things will work great. This looks pretty dry. Now we get to do the fun part. So the next thing we're gonna do is lift this off. This is why I use window cling because it sticks really well and it gives you a nice water sealed edge, but you can peel it off really easily. So now I get to do the fun part. Look at that. A little bleed under here, but overall I think our globe looks really great. And if you have a bleed, let me show you how easy it is to clear up. Um, just a little bit of blending solution on my kitchen towel. If it's even smaller of an area, you could use a Q-tip or a micro brush. But just look how easy this is cleaning up. I mean, there's lots of islands around here, so I'm not so worried that there's a little thing on there. Okay, so that's literally it. And I mean, that you actually now wanna turn it over. So that's why I mirrored it, because now you can see on the right side, it looks right. And we're gonna now put it back in our frame. So you want alcohol ink side, down. I know you have a couple of options. One is you could use it like a sun catcher like this and you can see how you know it looked great on a window and something like that or you can turn it into a frame. So for that I'm just going to take a piece of white cardstock cut to frame size. That's what I think is slightly smaller but you will get the idea. Put my backer back in again. And later on, I would actually stick the piece of white cardstock down, but for here, you can see, and you can see on there, and I could decorate this, I could maybe add some vinyl on here, like our journeys, or where's mum, or, you know, like, let's find a place, wherever you will go, you know, all those kinds of things from Dr. Seuss. And then you can see if I hold it up on here, like, look how gorgeous that looks. I think it looks awesome. Um, so you can do all sorts of fun things. So turn it into like cathedral stained glass or you could turn it into a frame like this and then decorate it. So lots and lots of opportunities. As I say, don't forget to check out Skillshare below. There is a link for the first 500 people to get their first two months free and you can check out those craft classes. You can check out Maddie's favorites, my favorites. You can go and check out um, videography and editing, how to take better pictures with your smartphone, all sorts of different things. This year is, 2020 is my year for discovering and learning new things. So I hope it will be for you as well. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Of course, hit subscribe, ring the bell, give us a thumbs up because tomorrow I have a great tutorial for you. I cannot wait to share it. I will see you then. In the meantime, happy crafting and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.